Please join me in Gasho. So do a Gasho and again, I'll show you enough. No man loves, 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 no man loves. Welcome everyone to our uh, New Year's Eve day service. Um, this will be the last, uh, or actually the second last service in 2020. We are going to have another service, short service this evening. Um, so this service will be both in English and Japanese. Um, uh, what we're going to do this, uh, this afternoon is we'll have the short service here and then Roy Sense and I are going to go over to where the bell is and I'll take the laptop with me. And we're going to actually ring the bell 54 times this afternoon. Uh, and then in the evening, we're going to ring it another 54 times. And when added together, they'll make up 108 times, which is a number of human defilements or passions that we have. And on New Year's Eve, uh, the tradition is that we the temple bells are rung 108 times to remind ourselves of all the things that have gone in the past year. And as the uh, sound goes off with the, the midnight air, um, we start off a new Year え、そしてまた今晩ですね、uh, so we'll uh, begin this service with uh, just a more silent uh, meditation, short period of time meditation, uh, followed by the recitation of the name of the Buddha or the Nembutsu. So we will begin the service with uh, just a more silent uh, meditation, short period of time No man loves, no man loves, no man loves, no man loves, no man loves. No uh, next we'll have the sutra chanting and we're going to begin. Oops, let me just pull it up here. We're gonna begin by reading the homage and three treasures. So it's on your screen if you, if you don't have it in front of you. Homage. Hard it is to be born into human life. Now we are living it. Difficult it is to hear the teachings of the Blessed One. Now we are hearing them. 
If we do not gain emancipation in the present life, we may not be free from sorrow in the ocean of births and deaths. Let us reverently take refuge in the three treasures. We go to the Buddha for guidance. May we always walk in the way that leads to enlightenment. We go to the Buddha for guidance. May we always walk in the way that leads to enlightenment. We go to the Dharma for guidance. May we be submerged in the depth of the teachings and gain wisdom as deep as the ocean. We go to the Dharma for guidance. May we be submerged in the depth of the teachings and gain wisdom as deep as the ocean. We go to the Sangha for guidance. May we all with one accord live the life of harmony in the spirit of oneness, free from the bondage of selfishness. We go to the Sangha for guidance. May we all with one accord live the life of harmony in the spirit of oneness, free from the bondage of selfishness. Even through myriads of kalpas, hard it is to hear such excellent and profound teachings. Now we are able to hear and receive them. Let us try to understand the Tathagata's teachings. So I'm also just going to pull up, uh, sorry for, I forgot the Japanese. Um, So I'm just pulling up the Japanese. えっと、日本語の大衆自らそうに消え uh, next, we will have the sutra chanting. Um, we will start off with the sambujo, which is on your uh, screen. And following that, we'll chant the sambutsuge. Namandops, namandops, namandops.
Respectfully welcome Amida Buddha to our temple as we scatter flowers of joy. We respectfully welcome Shakyamuni Buddha to our temple as we scatter flowers of joy. We respectfully welcome the Buddhas of all times and places to our temple as we scatter flowers of joy. No more notes. No more notes.
Uh, please join me as we read the uh, English translation of the Sambutsuge. Sambutsuge, translation, praises of the Buddha. Your face shines in great splendor, boundless wondrous dignity, such the greatness of your light beyond all comparison. Brightness of the sun and moon and the shining money jewels when compared to your brilliance, seem to us like blackest ink. The Tagata's countenance transcends all comparison. The great voice of awakening resounds throughout the 10 quarters. Your precepts, learning, effort, meditation, wisdom are virtuous beyond all compare, ultimate, supreme, and rare. Your deep meditation has fathomed all the Dharma sea to the limits and the depth of all things the Buddhas teach. Ignorance, anger, and greed, the world honored one has none. Like a lion among men, measureless your great virtues. Vast are your great virtuous deeds, your deep wisdom is profound. Your radiant luminous light shakes all the world's foundations. When I become a Buddha, equal to the Dharma king, I will transcend birth and death liberating all beings. My giving discipline, precepts, patience and effort, meditation and wisdom shall be supreme, unsurpassed. When I attain Buddhahood, everywhere fill, fulfill my vow, bringing peace and tranquility to all beings in doubt and fear. Though there are myriad Buddhas beyond measure, beyond count, and great sages numberless, like the grains of Ganges sand. I will honor the, each of them equally accepting none. Even more importantly, I will seek the Supreme Way. Even though all Buddha worlds are countless as Ganges sands, even though all lands and realms are boundless without measure, yet my light shall reach them all and illumine every place. Such shall be my perfect work such my power infinite. When I attain Buddhahood, my land will be the first and best, place of practice transcendent, its people sublime and rare. My land is like Nirvana beyond all comparison. In my sincere compassion, I will enlighten all beings. All who come from the 10 quarters to be born into my land will be pure, filled with gladness, peace and great tranquility. O Buddhas of the Ten Quarters, this my true revelation. In this way, I've made my vows and I will strive to fulfill them. Buddhas of the Ten Quarters, with your wisdom unimpeded, may I always call on you to reveal my intentions. Though my body undergoes so much pain and suffering, I will persevere and strive patiently without regret. Namo Amidabhs. Namo Amidabhs. And now at this time, we'll have uh, uh, short Dharma messages first from uh, Roy Sensei. So we just uh, be patient as he comes up here. Hello and good afternoon, everyone. I'm sure it is an afternoon at this time of the year. Hawaii and even back in Eastern Canada, it must be the afternoon. So anyway, this is our last service for the year 2020. And what I'd like to do is to kind of refer to the, the script that I've written. And uh, pardon me, but I may be reading some notes from the, the script. 
As one reaches the end of the year, one realizes how quickly the year has gone by. This year, the sooner the better. I'm sure that some of you would agree with that. The year has been unprecedented. As the weeks went by, our lives were affected unexpectedly, particularly with the coronavirus. It had affected us in one form or another. Some were deeply affected with great sadness and experiencing the loss of a family member or a relative. Many have been in one way or another unable to pay respect for the one who had passed away, to visit and care for the aged parent, to visit a friend who was not a well, together for family dinners, to attend temple services, and to gather around friends, and even to do our own grocery shopping. We we're all accustomed to seeing the photographs of frontline workers giving their undivided care for the sick. Untold numbers were deeply affected. Indeed, the situation has been very traumatic. Our suffering has never been more apparent. There have been many uncertainties and unpredictabilities in human history, but historians predict that this virus infection in such proportion has never been known before. History has also made it known that through these experiences, mankind has been able to overcome such adversity through our resilience, our tolerance, our patience, our discipline, and our insight in the application of scientific knowledge. Through all of this, we have become more understanding of our own shortcomings and the need for reliance on others. And in doing so, we are more compassionate and our kindnesses have risen to the fore. Importantly, the truth of the Four Noble Truth has become more apparent and inherent in our behavior. The words of the homages, the kikyomo, which we had just heard, are, could not be even more factual through our experiences. And it says, Hard it is to be born into human life, now we are living it. Difficult it is to hear the Dharma, now we are hearing it. How may we be freed from the despair and suffering? By entrusting ourselves in the three treasures, the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, and by trying to understand the Tathagata's teaching. At this time, through this difficult moment, there is one person who has brought the Tathagata's teachings directly into our homes, and he is Reverend Grant. He has, through his creativity, imagination, and steadfast effort, brought us, the Dharma followers and friends, together to hear the calling voice of Amida in our homes every Sunday. Thank you, Sensei, for your dedication throughout the year. Personally, it has been a pleasure assisting you. In my closing thoughts for this year-end service, let us acknowledge the difficulties of the year 2020. But similarly, let us express our gratefulness our gratefulness that we are well and are able to care for others. As stated in the first two lines of the Shoshinge, 
let us entrust ourselves in the Tathagata of immeasurable life. Let us take refuge in his inconceivable light. Thank you very much, everyone, for listening, and all the best in the coming year. Namo Amida Vitsu. Namo Amida Vitsu. Namo Amida Vitsu. I'd like to also thank Roy Sensei for his dedication throughout this year. Uh, I know uh, Sensei takes great amount of time to uh, prepare the onaijin for us, the, our altar area every week. And uh, I'm sure we would all love to be here to uh, immerse ourselves in the beauty of the temple but unfortunately, 2020 has been a year in which we have been unable to do that. One of the things that uh, Roy Sensei has done for today's service is he's used the Japanese candles, we call them waro, and one of the uh, features of these uh, candles is the fact that they burn brilliantly. Um, you could probably see the flickering flames, and it, it is the uh, this burning flame it, which represents our life, as Roy Sensei has mentioned, as we overcome the many hardships that we endure in life. Um, this is another expression of that, the brilliant light burning in our altar. As Roy Sensei had mentioned, year 2020, well, it was a year of great devastation, great sadness. And I'd like to uh, express together with Roy Sensei my sincere feelings of sadness, condolence to all those who have uh, suffered the loss of a loved one, as well as those who are continuing to endure the suffering going on throughout this year. As a way of expressing my condolence, I'd like to uh, read, oh, I would better actually say, uh, read the uh, English translation of the uh, White Ashes to end off my talk in English. And then afterwards, I will give my talk in Japanese. Uh, so I'm going to, at this time, read the White Ashes. In silently contemplating the transient nature of human existence, nothing in our world is more fragile and fleeting than our life. Thus we hear of no one sustaining a human form for a thousand years. Life swiftly passes. And who among us can maintain our human form for even a hundred years? Whether I go before others or others go before me, whether it be today or it be tomorrow, who is to know? Those who leave before us are as countless as the drops of dew. Though in the morning we may have radiant health, in the evening we may return to ashes. When the winds of impermanence blow, our eyes are closed forever. And when the last breath leaves us, our face loses its color. Though our loved ones gather and lament, everything is to no avail. The body is then sent into an open field and vanishes from this world with the smoke of cremation, leaving only white ashes. There is nothing more real than the truth of life. The fragile nature of human existence underlies both the young and old. And therefore, we must, one and all, turn to the teachings of the Buddha and awaken to the ultimate source of life. By so understanding the meaning of death, we shall come to fully appreciate the meaning of this life, which is unrepeatable and thus to be treasured above all else. By virtue of true compassion, let us realize the irreplaceable value of human life and let us together live the Nembutsu in our hearts, humbly and respectfully. Oh.
No one knows. No one knows. No one knows. えー、日本語で一言、えー、お話しさせていただきたいと思います。えー、本日はこのジョヤエのお参りに皆さんようこそご参加していただきました、えー、先ほどロイ先生も申してましたように今年2020年は大変、えー、辛くて厳しい、えー、1年となりました、えー、今もこの病気と戦っている方も多く,いり多くありそしてこの1年、えー、亡くなられた多くの方にまず、えー、心より、えー、中心より、えー、お悔やみを申し上げる次第でございます。また、えー、この神戸道のせいでですね、えー、離れ離れ暮らさなければならない、えー、お寺で一緒にお参りすることができない辛さを実感している一年でございますが。その中でもですね、こういう機会を通して、ズームを通してですね、多くの方と触れ合うことができて、それは非常に嬉しいことでありました。まあ、この2020年が終わることにあたり、最後になりますが、霊尿症に書かれた白骨の章を、えー、亡くなられて多くの方々を忍びながら、えー、拝読させていただきたいと思います、えー、よろしくお願いしますどれ人間の不祥なるそうつらつら感ずるにおおよそはかなきものはこの世の死中獣幻のごとくなるいちごなりさればいまだ漫才の人参の受けたりということを聞かず一生過ぎやすし今に至って誰か百年の業態を保つべきや我や先人や先今日とも知らず明日とも知らず遅れ先立つ人は元の雫末の梅よりも茂しと言えりされば明日には甲があって、夕べには発骨となれる身なり、すでに無情の風来たり濡れば、すなわち二つの眼たちまちに閉じ、一つの息長く歌え濡れま。方眼むなしく返じて通りの予想を失いぬる時は六神剣族集まって嘆き悲しめどもさらにその会あるべからずさてしもあるべきことならねばとて野外に送って弱の煙となし果てぬれば、ただ骨の溝のこれり、哀れというもなかなか愚かなり。されば、人間の儚きことは、老少不浄の境なれば、誰の人も早く御唱の一大事を心にかけて阿弥陀仏と深く頼み参らせて念仏申すべきものなりあなかしこあなかしこ生のオス生のオス生のオス。So I'm going to move us over to the、uh, where the bell is, and we're going to start ringing the New Year's Eve bell. As I mentioned,、uh, the bell ringing for us is symbolic. It's traditionally struck 108 times 
representing all the human passions or defilements that we have. And uh, it represents all the things that have gone on throughout this past year. Uh, you're more than welcome to listen to all the bells. Uh, we're gonna do 54 ringings right now. And you're also more than welcome to leave anytime you wish to do so. So thank you all for joining us for this uh, New Year's Eve service. I think you can all see the bell, can you not? So Roy Sensei will begin with the striking of the bell.
this will conclude the uh, bell ringing for this afternoon. If I don't see you all before tomorrow, uh, happy New Year's to everyone. And thank you for sharing 2020 with us. And I look forward to sharing 2021 with all of you. これをもちまして、本日のジョヤの集いを終わらせていただきたいと思います。また、十一時四十五分から五十四回つきますので、よかったらまた参加してください。Um, again, we will be having from eleven forty-five the remaining bell ringing from this evening. So uh, again, thank you all for joining us. And if you wish to unmute yourself, you can do so now. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New Year. Year. Happy New 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 Year. Thank you. Happy New Year. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you very much. OK. Bye. See you yeah. Thank you. Say bye. 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 bye.